Hello techies. In this short tutorial, we will learn how to work with invoke web service action to delete the existing record by using delete method. Let me show you a small use case over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having the employees list in the employee table, right? Now I want to delete one of the records from the table by using web API. Let us assume I'm having the employee ID for, I want to delete the record from the employee table by using delete method. How can I go ahead and do that? Now we will see the delete method in web API. Now, if you see over here under the employees, I'm having the delete method where we are having the API slash employees slash ID. We need to pass the employee ID through URL. All right. Let's click on delete method. Now, if you see the parameters over here, first thing is that the URL API slash employees slash ID. The ID you need to pass through the URL, which you want to delete. Another one, you can see this is the URI parameters, which you are having ID. And in the body, you are not going to pass any parameters. And the response, you will get it in JSON format whenever you have going to invoke the web service. All right. Now, now let's switch to Power Automate Desktop. I'm going to use Invoke Web Service. Let's drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, I'm going to give the URL https localhost slash api slash employees slash the id which you want to delete i want to delete the employee id 4 so that i'm going to hard code this value over here as 4 all right and you can see the method to delete the record from the database i'm going to use the method delete which it will hit the delete method through web api all right let me select that and the accept and the content type, I'm going to give it as JSON. And over here, you don't have any request body so that in advance, you can keep it the encode request body as is, or if you're going to pass some values in the request body, in that case, you're going to disable it. All right, now I'm going to save this action by clicking on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run. Flow execution started. And you can see over here, the status code is 200. Nothing but it has been executed successfully and it's the request has been sent successfully to the web API. And you can see the response over here, it's given it as deleted. In the sense, the output is given in the string format so that we got it as deleted. All right, let me close this. Now let's go back to database. And once again, let's execute the select statement. Now, if you see over here, the fourth record is deleted successfully from the particular employee table. All right. I hope you understand how to work with invoke web service action to delete the particular record by using delete method. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.